Hello folks, my name is Melvin and welcome to this wonderful place that we call the internet. Uh, oh, I, I was just about to pick you up. I was just about to. Alrighty, um, so, I still don't know your name, I still don't. I should definitely ask. Well, I can't ask you, I gotta ask your owner. Anyways, I want to talk about um, just kind of where my positive thinking got me this year. Oh man, these claws are really sharp. Um, and just kind of what I think, why I think it happened and where I hope this leads to, you know, just kind of explaining it. So, you know, I was saying how in the beginning of 2022, just it wasn't looking too good for me in terms of the mental health um, advancements I had um, earlier in, in the 2021. Like, I wasn't meditating as much. I wasn't eating healthy. I actually, oh, man, 2022, it was really hard for me to keep certain habits. Like, eating healthy was really hard for me. And I think it just had to do with a lot of stress. And uh, in 2022 as well, I started noticing um, just more... Like, I wish I had more depression slumps. It was not a fun... <laughs> okay, I can't keep... I can't think with him licking me. Oh, sorry, you, you're distracting me. I had way more depressive slumps. Like, I would wake up feeling, like, tired. Tired. Like, all right, open up a, a coffin for me. Like, I'm, I'm ready to just lie in there and just never wake up. You know, that that's how tired I was feeling. And it was just happening so many times. I just didn't know how to get past it. And, you know, it, it really kind of opened up my eyes. It showed me that something was really, really wrong and I needed to fix it. So, I don't know how to think about when those things happen you know when those 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 downs because they really truly inspire me to pump back up but i want to avoid those moments you know so that's something i'm trying to figure out but at the same time i am glad that it happened because it showed me that i really really needed to change i really needed to put an effort and i was reminding myself you know the the way of thinking i was doing in in 2020 when i was feeling depressed that if i could make myself feel 1% better then it's worth it it's worth doing that um but i took it up a notch so instead of just home at work how i thought how i looked at the world just i tried to make everything in my life 1% better i tried to kind of turn transmorph into a brand new person just kind of putting in that effort and it worked it worked a lot better than i think it has any right to be because i wasn't really working on it but it it worked just simply wanting to feel better simply wanting to be in a better mood wanting to be better at my job just wanting those things like truly wanting it you know, not focused on doing everything perfectly, but just wanting to do 1% better made me better, you know, um, with part with my job, part of it is commission, you know, so if I make more sales, I make more money. And this was <laughs> the first month in a long time, where I, I genuinely made a good amount of money at my job. So it's, it's awesome. Like I, I, uh, I'm seeing the changes come to life. So, you know, it got me thinking, you know, because I'm no longer a religious person, you know, I'm, I just, I'm not religious, I'm not really spiritual, anything like that. That could change. Who knows? I'm not really against it personally. Um, I just, you know, just the way modern religion seems like, I just, it's not really my thing. So just didn't really invest into it. But you can put that same type of belief system in yourself, you know, you have the ability, the power to do that. And I think it's very important to start doing that, that we got to just start adjusting our lifestyles to that position where, okay, we know that we, maybe we're not the best at our job, but we want to get better at it. All right. So we just have to believe that we can get better and we will. 
I get that it sucks waking up early. I get that it sucks working late. I get that it sucks trying to eat healthy, trying to exercise, not having time for friends. But there are things you can do in your life to make it better. There are things you can do. You got to start off small and you got to start off simple. Those two key things are the most important things, all right? Because when you see that you can do it, no matter how small and how simple they are, they lead to better things. They lead to greater things. It's an investment and an investment grows and diversifies and evolves too. You have a human brain. That's another thing that has helped me out a lot. So most of your actions are because you wanted them to happen. We don't run off of instincts as human beings. Most of the things we do don't run off of instincts. Most actions that we do. It's not instinctual for us to wake up with an alarm clock. It's not instinctual for us to go and exercise. You know, we're kind of going against what our ancestors lived, their lifestyle, you know? My family, my great grandma, she woke up when the, the rooster crowed, you know, things like that. Like, that's how they woke up. That's how they started their morning. We can do it a lot differently, you know? We can, you know, it, it's it's kind of like that saying, fake it till you make it. Hey, it's true. It is absolutely true. And I keep picking him up because he's trying to jump on my back and I really don't want him to. You can see he's really, he's really trying to get on my back. I don't want him on my back. His nails are too sharp and I would cut them if I could. I can't, I don't know where the nail clippers are. But it truly is faking it till you make it. So let's start with something very, very okay, come on, stop. You got to stop like, I'm recording, okay? So let's start with something really, really simple, okay? Let's just start with a few deep breaths, you know? You breathe in, and then you breathe out. All right, you took two big, deep breaths, okay? You, your mind, you know that when you take deep breaths, you're more calm, you're more relaxed, in some cases, you are more focused when it happens, all right? Now, let's just say you didn't feel it. You didn't feel the benefits that it had, but you, your brain knows that it benefits you, all right? So don't focus as much on the feeling of it. Keep saying to yourself, because it's good for me, I am going to do it. That is what you should start saying to yourself, okay? Because being good at my job is going to make it easier, I'm going to do it. Yes, my job sucks. It's not the greatest job in the world. But being good at my job is going to make it easier, so I'm going to do it. Being good at my job is going to make me better at my next job, so I'm going to be good at my current job. Being good at my job is going to make the, the work environment a lot better. It's going to make things more organized. It's going to make my manager's job easier. So I'm going to do it. So you just got to start rationalizing why you should do things. You got to start rationalizing why you should start singing in the shower and feeling good about it. Maybe the first time you do it, you won't feel so good. Maybe the first time you're, you're faking it, you're pretending. But eventually, your body's going to realize, oh, when I do this, it makes me feel good better. So we can rework our habits. We can make whatever bad habits we have into good habits. We can start rationalizing our good decisions. And that's just what I started doing. I started rationalizing good decisions. I started rationalizing why I should be more positive at the end of the day, why I should be more happy, why I should smile more, why I should sing along more. Why I should start being just more goofy, you know? Just start having more goofy thoughts. Start rationalizing that. You can you can pretty much rationalize whatever thing you want, you know, in your own mind. Your mind is truly the palace. That is the king in there. They make the decisions. Something to think about. Food for thought. Like the name of this show. Ah!